Hello and welcome to all in this SAP tutorial. This tutorial is purely training and understanding purpose. In this SAP tutorial, we will going to discuss how to get the list of open maintenance order and notification in SAP PM modules. Okay. If you are new in our YouTube channel ERP SAP team, please subscribe our YouTube channel for latest SAP video updates. <coughs> in general, we have we are creating the maintenance order and notification for maintaining task frequently in the daily routine. After the processing of the bills and all. <coughs> we generally uh, forget to close the maintenance order and notification so it is very humble request with all that please complete and close the maintenance order once your task has been completed okay so how can you do this activity first you need to close the notifications then settle the respective MO through account official using transaction code KO88 or KO80. Okay, KO88 for single maintenance order settlement and KO80 for bulk maintenance order settlements. Okay, then close the maintenance order. Okay, how you can get the list IW39? Okay, is the transaction code. <coughs> here you need to click on the outstanding in progress and completed <coughs> and you can fill the period for example I just want to get the data from 1st 1st 2019 to 31st 3 2020 okay <coughs> then go in the maintenance plans in the location data go in the maintenance plan i fill the date 3002 fine you have lot of option like uh, you can fill work center okay you can fill business area you can fill other things okay <coughs> see you can also choose the order type like uh, If you want to get the data of the AMC maintenance order, if you want to get the data of the uh, general maintenance order, if you want to get the data of the preventive maintenance order, breakdown maintenance order. So we have categorized these uh, SAP maintenance order as per the type. Okay. So you can choose these data as per the maintenance order record. Okay. <coughs> See, for example, we have different different types of the maintenance order like BM01, BM02, BM03, BM04, BM05, BM07, that is AMC shutdown. So if you want to get the data of any particular maintenance order, you can choose like BM02 for the breakdown, BM07 for AMC requirement maintenance. But I'm not going to uh, get the specific record. I'm just want to get the whole record of the maintenance order so once you are done then you can click on the f8 here <coughs> okay system is giving error So go back again, execute the transaction code IW39. Okay. 
and this time you don't select Two thousand nineteen to two thousand twenty. I'm just picking the random date. Okay, fine. So don't bother for that same. I'm picking the random date. Okay, and click on the complete it, and uh, go in the. You have lot of option on the basis of that you can fill fill the plan two thousand two. Okay, and clicking on the execute. system will get, give you the data of all the maintenance order which are created during this period okay and uh, you can share these data with respective uh, section in charge like for the transmission maintenance order you can share the data with the transmission with the broadband with the c okay so we have lot of uh, options like th this is the maintenance plan this is the order this is the type like bm02 bm user status this is the functional location the description of the functional location these are the equipment on which we have created the maintenance task okay this is the total sum this is the wbs order header okay these are the notification number so <clears throat> you can extract the data for example if any maintenance order is uh, completed uh, and closed then the <coughs> system task is clsd system status clsd is here okay so all the maintenance order either are in the created mode either are in the release mode so we need to extract this uh, order and these are the hr id of the employee uh, entered by so we can share this okay and other we have functional location like exchange wise uh, functional location so we can share this data to respective exchange in charge or functional location in charge so here she can execute the task of the completion okay you can uh, extract this data from uh, this <coughs> save or uh, clicking on the spread sheet like for example i'm just clicking on the spread sheet okay so i'm just clicking on the maximum nine columns are there okay <coughs> so system will picking the record of the same table click on the table <coughs> microsoft excel you can apply the subtotal on the entered by you can supply the subtotal on the type wise you can sub, uh, apply the sub, sub, subtotal on the equipment wise so you will get the record of the same okay share the uh, list of mo using functional location wise okay. to respective in charge Record is saved in your uh, profile in the Excel format. You can directly uh, save through uh, local file, clicking on the local file and save the data in the spreadsheet. And this is the natural way you can do with this. Okay. For example, if I am just clicking on the entered by subtotal, then apply the subtotal. See. So this uh, employee has created. And number uh, such number of the maintenance order this employee has created one number of maintenance order this employee has created this number of the maintenance order so you can 
share the data uh, using employee wise okay <coughs> hope you understand okay so this is the way how can you close the maintenance order see first you need to close the notification then you need to uh, settle this maintenance order through accounts officer using KOA 88 or KOA G. Settle the cost, okay? Then you need to close the maintenance order. One uh, uh, process FAQ is available in our uh, internet ERP help desk website, okay? Uh, for the company purpose, you can use that, okay? So, thank you for watching this SAP tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this SAP tutorial if you have any query on your mind then please uh, mention in the comment section uh, reach us at erp sap team one at the rate gmail.com and please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends because knowledge sharing is caring okay and again i'm requesting if you're new on our youtube channel erp sap team please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest video updates again if you think this is really useful tutorial for you then please press a like button because once you press a like button once you give a like then it gives us motivation to us and our team for creating more and more such conceptual videos and training purpose videos for your understanding purpose have a nice day see you in the next video bye bye